I'm Jim Hammond with Argus Analyzers, and we're here today to talk about the operation of the Argus Professional Series Battery Tester. The whole key to this tester right here is this little piece of paper, the printed test report. It shows all of the results of the five tests that the Argus tester performs. We've got the state of charge test. State of charge is important because the results of any test are going to vary based on how charged the, the battery is. Second is the battery life or capacity test. We compare the specification in cold cranking amps to the measured cold cranking amps that we test in the battery. The third is the cranking health test. This Argus specific test uses the load of the engine to see how hard or how easy it is for the battery to turn over the specific engine that it's attached to. And the last two tests are electrical systems tests. These tests look at the diode ripple of the alternator to make sure that the alternator is working properly and the voltage. Is the charging voltage too high or too low? And all of these five tests are printed out on this little uh, printed test report here. It's excellent practice to have a preventative maintenance mindset when it comes to batteries, just like hoses and belts, because you want to replace a battery before it fails out there in the world. You're going to like the Argus tester here in that it's a very fast test. It takes less than 10 seconds to be looking at data. It's also a very easy tester to use, so fast and easy to use. Let's take a look at how it operates now. So in, in doing the test here, we want to make sure that we've got excellent connection quality between the clamps and the battery itself. Argus runs a 100 amp load test, so it's very important to have good connection quality um, at the clamps. So the, tester then is going to ask us three major questions. The first of which is what is the voltage? And we can choose 6 or 12 volts here. We're going to choose 12 volts. Second is what is the rating standard that we're using? And this battery is rated in cold cranking amps, so we're going to choose CCA. If we scroll to the right here, we can also choose EN rated batteries, EN2 rated batteries, DIN rated batteries, and we can also look at the internal resistance value of this battery. I'm going to scroll back here to cold cranking amps, CCA, and select that. Lastly, it's asking us what the cold cranking amp rating is of this battery to compare its, its measurement to. This is a 550 CCA battery. I'm going to enter 550. The first page of data is the state of charge page. This battery is 84% charged, so it's not completely charged up, but the tester is going to automatically correct for this non-standard state of charge. It'll also correct for a non-standard temperature as well. It's asking us to press the, the enter key. We are now on the BL page. BL stands for battery life. And this page of data shows us the cold cranking amp rating that we entered, 550. It shows us the cold cranking amp measure is 564, which is 100% battery life remaining. And it gives us a nice icon with a check mark in it showing us that this battery is in fine shape. Now down here in the corner we've got a key that's flashing asking us to start the engine and we're going to be able to do the rest of the tests, the cranking health test and the electrical systems tests after starting the engine. We want to turn on the lights or the fan to make sure that the alternator kicks in. We can turn the engine off. We come around here and automatically the cranking health page is showing. On the right hand side is a battery and it'll either have a check mark in it for a good battery, an X in the battery for a battery that needs to be replaced, or for a marginal battery it's going to flash back and forth between the check mark and the X. On the left hand side is an icon which is a sine wave with a circle around it signifying if the alternator is good, if the alternator is bad, a line will pass through that sine wave showing that there is a problem with the alternator or the charging voltage itself. We press and hold the middle button and we've got the test results here to show our customer. So here we are back at the printed test results, showing us the results of the five tests that the tester performed. 
We've got the state of charge information, the battery capacity test, the cranking health information, and the electrical systems test information. In addition, we've got what the tester is recommending that you do, and the four results are continue to use, replace now, replace soon, or charge and retest. So you can have a discussion with your customer, understanding this information, and have them decide what they'd like to do, replace the battery or not.